Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our update video disguised as a Minecraft video that isn't a Minecraft video, it's just updates, and my gosh, that fire is still going. Wow, it's it shows no signs of stopping. Oh, I wish I'd brought me some corn for popping. Oh, but you know, folks, even when that fire is slowly dying, you and I will still be goodbying. Because as long as you love me so... I am content to let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So that looks a bit like a normal Minecraft biome. We've got a swamp over there, mountains and, and sort of uh, pine trees over here. This right here feels like it's the center point of, of, of three different biomes kind of coming together and connecting together. Oh, wait, and there's a pink tree over there too. Love a good pink tree. And that over there, I mean, it might just look flat, but it kind of looks like planes, perhaps. Or maybe that's just a, a deception because the world hasn't quite loaded over there. I've got to say, this is running really smoothly. I don't know what they've done to Minecraft 1.16, but it looks buttery smooth. Even though I'm still using last generation hardware. Because I have yet to track down a 3080 or an AMD... Uh, 5950? That's that's a bit much. That's not what I was planning on getting. I was going to get a 5800, call it a day. But I mean, a 5950 could be fun, right? How do we feel about this right here? I don't know. Oh, there's another, there's another thing over there. I don't know. This doesn't feel very exciting, does it? I'm sort of a fan of planes. I think ever since the original Tekkit 1.5.5 to whatever it was. I think it was just Tech at Main is what I called the series. Ever since the... What am I looking at? Uh, ever since then, I've been a big fan of just building in planes. Because then, what's in the world... I'm sorry, I'm very distracted. What are you? Hi. How are you? You're a cute little thing, aren't you? <laughs> I doesn't even care. Ah! Oh. Yeah, it's dead now. I killed it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's going to be comments like, why did you kill that? Don't you understand? If you'd just given it an apple, it would have granted you three wishes, and you could have wished for the head of the Ender Dragon, the torso of the Wither. Oh my gosh, it's a raccoon. Hi. Alright, see you later. Whoa! An ocean! <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. Oh, look at that mountain. Oh, that looks weird. I love that mountain so much. I don't know anything about it. I, I It could be a terrible mountain, but I, I want to know more. So we're going to go to that mountain right now. We're going to have to jump off of here into the water. Uh, can we make it? Yes, we can. Wow. Okay, well, trees decay very quickly. That's interesting to see. Uh, I want to get to the top of this thing, and I want to find the least destructive way to do it. I don't want to take off anything from the sides. I was thinking about building up a ladder, but if I can get around to it from this side, it's going to be a shame if I can, because the way it looks so funky, it might only be from this side that it looks that way, and that's going to be a bummer if that's the case. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't don't, don't bring me down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this side of the mountain looks a little bit more normal. As normal as anything in this game looks. But this side looks so wonky. This is it. Upon this rock I will build my house. We're going to have to do some trimming on the top. And that's fine. But I think what we'll do... Oh, it would be so much easier if I could fly. Is build a castle kind of along the top of this side here. And we'll kind of have it branch out. Oh, this is going to... It's going to look cool when we're done with it. Well, I mean, I keep saying that. But we're not going to do anything with it. This isn't a series... We're done. We're done. As soon as I'm done with this update video, we're not coming back. This isn't the start of something new. It it does feel right to be here with you. Uh, yeah, looking in your eyes, I I see that it's true. This is the start of something new. Is that the lyrics? Is that the? I, I don't think that's the lyric. I feel like I've got them slightly off. I I think I'm close, but not quite on the money with that. Positives. I'm positively sure that we're going to have a much easier time defending ourselves from the hordes of the evil monsters that want us dead up here. Negatives. It's going to take a long time to find ore. Because we're going to have to not only dig down 
you know, the normal distance, but we have to dig back down to ground level. Uh, you spawn at, what, 64 blocks? We're now at 120 or 119. We're almost double that. So it's almost double the journey down. And then every time we come back up, double the journey up. But I wonder if we've got that mod that makes climbing up ladders real quick. I'm assuming we must. I don't know what it's called. But just seeing everything that's in this pack, one would hope that we would have that. So let's make some additional sticks. Let's build ourselves some ladders. Well, folks, Minecraft has changed. How does one build a ladder? I'm telling you right now. That I bet. What? How, how do I craft it? What? Oh. Okay. Sure. I don't know what was wrong with the original design. But whatever. Okay, well, I can't just look straight up and go up the ladder. And I can't just right-click at the bottom to have them infinitely added to the top. This mod pack sucks. Throwing that out there right now. Completely bombed. Everything about it is terrible. I don't want to be here anymore. I need to be careful what I say, because if I die, I go back to spawn. And I have no idea where that is relative to where I am now. Because I'm not great with directions. Mm, this is always fun. First chest. Oh, and it's an oak chest specifically. That's always fun. We love to see that, don't we? We like to see all of our chests be slightly different based on the material we built them out of. And, and, and how complicated that makes storing things later. If we make some, like... Okay, if we make a chest out of spruce or out of willow... Oh my gosh, can we get a green... Please give me a green chest. Oh, sadness and misery. Spruce, though? All right, now what happens when I put this one next to this one? Uh, you see, when I said that I, we love it, I was being sarcastic, and this is why. This is just a hassle. Ugh, nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I, I bet you if I had a tool, I could probably combine these somehow, but... Who has the patience for that? I am beginning to wonder whether or not I am even going to release this video now. Because it has gone on for so long. And the relevant information is so spread out that I don't know who's going to sit down and watch it. I might have to end up making a separate update video that is more concise. Which begs the question of why even bother making this one in the first place? Why not just make a new one? Why not just stop recording now and make that? And I know there's going to be comments from, Hey, why don't you make it a Minecraft series? It looks like you're having fun with this. Why don't you just continue this? Because I don't know what to do now. I don't know any of the mods in this. I have no idea where to go from here. Is there like a a, a, a pulverizer? Oh, there, well, there is actually. Yeah, look at that. Thermal series pulverizer. But is there a macerator? No. See, well, then what's the point? And how do you, how do you power that? Is there like a, a dynamo? Oh, there is, yeah. Right there. From uh, Pneumaticraft Repressurized. Oh, that actually sounds like fun. What about a magma? Is that like a magma? Yeah. Dynamo, look at that. Mm, from Thermal Series. Mm. Sterling. Sterling Dynamo there. <sighs> I don't know. Isn't this a bit done now? Do people even make Let's Plays anymore? Is that like a thing of the past? Is that is that a thing that people did in the older days that these younger generations don't understand, right? Is that possible? Let me know. Do, do young folks still watch Let's Plays? Because I feel like they're a bit done at this point, you know? I feel like most people are more interested in the, ironically, what gaming content sort of started out as, which is the more sort of... Um, uh, James Rolfe style uh, AVGN kind of content where it's about you know looking into old retro games and things like that and it's more produced am I wrong? I could be I don't know that's why I'm asking you to comment down below and let me know nope I don't want a spruce ladder piss off with that I don't want multiple different kinds of ladder that's actually really irritating do I have a regular sapling I can plant thank gosh I'm not here to play these kinds of games. All right. Let's just make a crap ton of these right now. 64. And then we will make one additional pickaxe. 
to take with us. I'm kind of hoping that we will hit iron before we go to... Lo oh. oh, crap. Oh, uh, we don't... Ah, we don't have to make it for long. We just have to make it until... Stop it! Get away from me! Son, save me! Save me! I don't have food with me! We're gonna die! Go away! <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> no! I thought we'd survived. Oh, thank goodness for death markers. Because that was not the direction I was going to go in. Also, it looks like the two forest fires have met up in the middle. Uh, which is fun, and they're still going, so love to see that. Combat remains my least favorite thing about this game, right? Like, And it's always been the case, where I, I, I've never particularly enjoyed that element of the game. I don't want to go fight monsters. I want to build things. The first When I first started playing this game, way back in the day, for the longest time, I just played in, uh, not creative, but peaceful. I just played in peaceful. And I mined things, and I built things, and that was mostly because the monsters sort of spooked me a little bit. I was a very sensitive gamer, uh, even though I was a grown man. Was I a grown man? How old was I when I started playing this game? 17? 18? Yeah, basically, I was a grown man. But uh, the creepers were spooky, dude. What can I say? And I wanted to play in Peaceful and just build things. And uh, for every series I've ever done, Every series I have ever done, there's been a moment where right at the beginning I've thought to myself, man, maybe I'll just play it on peaceful. And not because the animals are, or the creatures are spooky now, but because, you know, it's just, is it better for, you know, building and such? It's just a better overall experience. There's my corpse. I, I see it. I can't get to it from here. I never do it because in many cases, if it's modded, you have to have monster bits to do certain things. And then also, I think people expect you to have that added element. I've, I've kind of, in the past, gutted it a bit by playing with things like Keep Inventory On and Disabled Explosions, particularly in more tutorial-esque series. So things like uh, most of my techets and, and Sky Factories and things have Disabled Explosions and turned on Keep Inventory. Uh, uh, bless. Look at this. Give it all back. Give it all back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what do I do with this? What do I do with my body now? Can I, like, break it? I don't know what to do with the corpse. Does it just stay here now? Do I have to look at it forever? I'd rather not. Um, oh, love that. Big head mode activated. I don't know what to do about this. Maybe we could check. Let's see. At... Uh, corpse. Ah, it's gone. Okay, well, good. Uh, nothing showed up when I searched for corpse. Now, how do I disable this death marker? Is it as easy as hitting M, right-clicking, and, and removing? It is. It turns out it is that easy. And then we can right-click up here, I guess. Add waypoint and call it home. Oi, oi. Can I fast travel to it? No. I can change the color, though, which is cool. Uh, oh, claim chunks and stuff. That's neato. I normally hate spiral staircases, but in an instance where wood is at a bit of a premium, uh, sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Now, we could just do a staircase going straight down, and that could be fun, but that could also take a lot more time, and we'll go through a lot more pickaxes, uh, although it would be sort of I guess it's sort of the the thing of, like, yeah, it's more investment up front, but it's better in the long run. But we're not interested in the long run. This isn't a series. Ah, iron. Hey, we're at level 64 now. So right about here, we're finally at sea level. And I don't know if you can see out to the top. You definitely can't. I can't maneuver my way into the center there where you can see straight up out. But we've been going for a while. We're on our second pickaxe at this point since we started this dig. I just wanted to get some iron. Just wanted to get some iron, maybe get some iron tools. Call myself a successful boy. What did I just pick up? What is that? Raw urine and uraninite. Is that like uranium but not quite? 
uh, your Uranian night. That's that's yeah, that's definitely what it is. I wonder if it is um, going to start poisoning us. Uh, that seems like a problem. I don't want to get radiation poisoning, radiation sickness. You get radiation sickness when you are radiation poisoned. To my understanding, I don't know. I never watched uh, Chernobyl, so I didn't need to. Uh, because I own a history book, and I read that, so, you know, I didn't need a docudrama that fudges the facts for the sake of drama, hence the docudrama part. Didn't need that. Read it in a history book. Does that make me better than you? No. There are many other things that make me better than you. <laughs> I'm kidding. As a joke. Uh, I kid, I kid. I gotta be careful with that sort of thing, because I feel like on YouTube... There's enough wacky YouTubers who would just genuinely believe that. I watched a clip the other day that someone uploaded from a YouTuber that I don't even know the name of. I'll, I'll confess. I don't even know who they are. But they were at a convention, and he was genuinely telling one of his subscribers, he's like, you know, I just think that I'm like I'm, I'm better than you. And, and it was just like, what? <laughs> what? What are you going on about now, bud? I think it's gone to your head here a little bit. If that's what you think. Uh, I don't know what the point was he was trying to get at. Maybe it was one of those situations. I mean, it seems unlikely, but I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Because words have meaning, but I think that too often we will ascribe meaning to words that the person who said them didn't intend. And I think too often, uh, as a society, we will be like, no, that's definitely what you meant! Without any sort of basis or evidence, or without giving them an opportunity to explain explain themselves, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person. Uh, I I want to be better than that person. If you are that person, I don't know what to tell you. I guess I'm just a little bit better than you. <laughs> uh, run the joke into the ground. Welcome to my instructional guide on how to make a joke not funny anymore, or make people question whether or not you were joking in the first place. Soapstone, I beg your pardon. Uh oh, the biomes you'll go. It looks like it might just be regular stone. It can be used in well, no, it. Uh, this looks like specifically soapstone, but surely this is one of those things where it's like, well, you could use regular stone too. Why would you need soapstone specifically to build these things? You don't. That's what's happening here. It's just it's not flashing through them like it used to. Used to be it would flash through them, but now it's not. If we click on that, yeah, there we go. See, now it's cycling through. All right, cool. Well, this could be a useful building material, like a really nifty one at that. 13, we need more than that. We need much more than that. 13 darknesses, 7 lights. Oh my gosh, it's Kingdom Hearts, everyone. We've done it. We've solved the riddle. I own Melody of, of Memory. Is that what it's called? Or Medley of... It's not Medley. That's a different thing. Melody of Memory, I think, is what it's called. I own it. Haven't played it yet. I've got it on the Switch. Probably end up buying it on the PC. Is it? Oh, is it on the Epic Store? I know all of the Kingdom Hearts games came to PC, and for some reason they're like first on Epic, and I refuse to participate in that because I hate the Epic launcher. Um, people have been complaining about the price of Nintendo games recently. They're like, Nintendo's charging $60 for Skyward Sword? Well, yeah, they charge $60 for every other Zelda HD remake slash remaster. Of course, they're going to charge $60. What, do you not remember the price of Wind Waker when it came out? Maybe it was 50 It was on the Wii U. Weren't Wii U games like 50 bucks or something like that? Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, in any case, it's like, yeah, of course they did. And, and they did it because they can. And people are like, well, it's not. Well, I don't like that. They're greedy and they shouldn't be doing that. Listen, if you truly believe that, don't buy it. Because a video game is worth what someone is willing to pay for it. And you can say it's not worth $60, but if you go out and buy it at $60, then you have basically confirmed to Nintendo that actually, yes, it is worth that. And they're going to keep releasing games at that price point, and I don't blame them. I'm going to buy it at $60. Bucks. I, it's one of my favorite Zelda games. I look forward to playing it again. I don't have an issue with the price point. Um, I already own it on the Wii. It's not like I'm desperate for it or anything. I just, I'm, I'm making the choice to buy it. But the point is, you know, if it's something that bothers you and you're genuinely bothered by it, it's time to put your money where your mouth is and say, no, I'm not going to buy it, Nintendo. Screw you. And if you're not willing to do that, then I don't really think you have a leg to, uh, to stand on when it comes to complaining about it. You know what I mean? Uh, so the point I'm getting at with this is that 
I don't like it when things go exclusively to the Epic Launcher. And I understand that not everyone can understand that. Um, let me put it to you like this, right? I don't believe that having exclusive games on a platform, like having... All right, so on, okay, it, it makes sense for Nintendo to have their games exclusively on the Switch because they make them. And it makes sense for Sony to have their games exclusively and all of that. But the PC is the platform and the Epic Game Store, it's not like an app store. It's not, it's not, how do I explain this? The PC has always had multiple places where you can buy the same thing. That's the way it should be. You can buy something on Uplay or you can buy it on Steam, right? That's the way the PC has always worked. And it should continue to work like that. And I don't think that exclusives are beneficial to the ecosystem in any way. And the way that I've always tried to explain this to people is Oreos, right? Let's say you want some Oreos, and they're available at multiple different stores. Well, you get to choose where you want to buy those Oreos. You can go to Walmart. They'll probably be cheaper at Walmart. Does Walmart smell bad? Absolutely. Are all of the employees rude? Yes. When you walk up to them, do they treat you like, how dare you try to get me to do my job? Why are you even here? Y yes. But the Oreos will be cheaper. Maybe you want to go to a nice grocery store. Maybe you want to go to like a Publix or something where it's a little cleaner, smells a little fr nicer, the people are a little friendlier. You can do that. Maybe you want to go somewhere with self-checkout where you don't have to interact with anyone. You can do that because Oreos are available everywhere and you can choose where you want to go buy your Oreos. That's how games should be on PC. Do you want to go buy them on the Epic Launcher knowing that, hey, the developers will get a bigger cut? You can do that. Do you want to go to Steam where there's more features and you already have most of your games anywhere and it's irritating to have multiple launchers and you want to be able to have reviews and things? You know, basic features that a store like that should have in the year 2021? User reviews? Go buy it on Steam. Maybe you want to get it on GOG. Maybe you maybe you just really like uh, the fine folks that brought us Cyberpunk and you're like, I'm going to go over to GOG and show them some support. That's, that's fine That's if that's what you want to do. And the point I'm making is, when you have exclusives, it hurts everyone. Now, I actually don't mind if it's Ubisoft making something exclusive to Uplay. I'm not happy about that, but that's their game on their launcher, and that's fine. But when they start cutting deals to be like, oh, you can only get it on the Epic launcher, because they gave us a lot of money. Like, that pisses me off to no end. It's irritating. It doesn't help anyone. No one wants that. No one wants to buy things on the Epic Launcher. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is I am I'm standing by my guns on this, and I refuse to buy um, the Kingdom Hearts games on the Epic Launcher. I'm going to wait till they come out on PC. And if you feel the same way about the Zelda games, and you feel like uh, Nintendo is charging too much for them, don't buy them. Stand by your guns and wait for them to come out at a lower price or to go on sale or maybe they don't go on sale at all and you don't get this game but Nintendo learns a lesson and the next time they release a game they release it cheaper because they're like oh well I remember what happened the last time we released the Zelda game at uh, such a high price no one bought it that's that's sort of what you gotta for frick's sake nope I'm out of here I'm going into the hole you can't you can't trick me into fighting you leave me alone is he gonna come down here with me leave me be he did he came down here with me no what's wrong with you Oh my gosh! Obnoxious. That's just the point I'm trying to make, but I'm using a lot more words to make it than I think I needed to. Uh, the point is... I don't remember. Oh yeah, if you're genuinely upset about the price Nintendo is charging for their games, uh, don't buy them at that price. But understand that other people probably will. And the value of something is not... You don't get to... you No, you do get to determine the value of something. You don't get to determine it by complaining, It's not worth that much. That's not how the value of anything in this world is set. It is set by how much a person is willing to pay for it. And if you're willing to pay a price for a Nintendo game, that is what the Nintendo game will be worth. And you just gotta cop that. If you don't think it's worth that price, don't buy it at that price. Cop it move on with your life.